Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. <laughs> That's gonna take a while. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this. Yeah. We're drinking Michter's American Whiskey. Let's whiskey. All right, Andrew Harrison gave us a whiskey. You may have seen him in the toast. Andrew Harrison. No, this guy. This guy. This guy. <laughs> this is a good guy. He's I know this guy. guy. I know this guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. A king among men. Yes. <laughs> to Andrew Harrison. Andrew Harrison, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> Okay, so um, this is Michter's American Whiskey. Mm. Now, why is it called American Whiskey? Uh, it's a whiskey that was made in America. God bless America. Um, no, it's an unblended. Now, blended whiskey in America means that you can add a percentage of neutral grain spirit. I don't know what a neutral well, It just is. means like a vodka oh, product, right? You can, just, you can just distill a neutral spirit huh. and you can cut a bourbon or a rye with this neutral spirit yeah. to uh, make it more alcohol. Last more yeah. or spread longer without having any aging requirements. Doesn't that dilute the flavor? A neutral, yeah, it does. Okay. Now, and originally it was actually for a while marketed as a, a light whiskey. During the Cold War, when vodka started taking over, and then in the 80s, uh, vodka started taking over as a main spirit, and a lot of the whiskey industry started trying to create a lighter whiskey to compete with people not wanting to drink a brown alcoholic beverage. And so they started creating these whiskey blends. Now, if you add a neutral grain spirit, you now have to re be required to put blended whiskey on it. Okay. Right? If, so this is not a blended whiskey. This is a mash that could be any number of grains. It, it could even be one where there's no grain that's more than 51%. Nobody knows. They keep a tight lid on that. Um, however, they can't call it bourbon, even if it's mostly corn, because they age this in used oak. Hmm. So unlike most American whiskeys, this is not aged in new oak barrels. This is aged in used oak barrels. Interesting. Yes. I say that. I wasn't listening. Yeah, you didn't I'm going to I assume said. it was interesting. Here's a cool thing about uh, Michter's. One, they're freaking awesome. Still talking. I'm still talking. Uh, and two, two of, out of three of their upper level people in charge of the distillery holy, are, are women. Holy ball. So Pam, Pam Heilman is the uh, master distiller and VP. She also used to be in charge of the Booker Note Distillery and Beam for production. Uh, Andrea Wilson in charge of maturation and Dan McKee is the distiller. I desperately need you to shut the f This is an amazing whiskey. Um, butterscotch, heavy butterscotch. Heavy, and in terms of, uh, you know I love the cream. I'm a fan of the cream. I would bathe in cream. I'm the nose on this is fantastic. I'm getting such a vanilla cream note on Yes. It. This is almost cream soda. Yo, man. This is one of the most underrated whiskeys in the entire American whiskey well, market. The fact that more people haven't tried Michter's American whiskey is a damn shame. So, Andrew, I saw him across the property. He says, hey, I donated a, a, a thing, and it's one of them. It's like, it's amazing. It's an amazing it whiskey. It really is an amazing whiskey. I'm excited about it. And, uh, Andrew, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. You're wonderful. You're brilliant. I got to tell you, the number of people that have said to me, oh, this is an amazing whiskey, you have to try it. It's like, yeah. okay, yeah, that's pretty good. And then it's like, yeah, it's not amazing, it's just pretty good. This is actually, in my head, this is actually amazing. I could drink only this at home for my American uh, for the, whiskey. For your go-to American For my go-to American whiskey, yeah. I could pour this. And according to what I prefer, which is mostly scotch, right. this is an American whiskey that's headed down the path of scotch. Andrew Harrison bringing the damage, man. Good God. Well done. Dude. Go, I mean, it's hard to, I don't think we can legally say go buy some Michter's American whiskey. But if we could legally say it, we probably would. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really nice bit of tap dancing. Yeah, right? right? Which is the opposite of tap dancing, yeah, for, by for, the way. For people that are new, this is a non-profit organization. Yeah, That's we why. can't tell people to go spend money at a for-profit entity. Right. Uh, so, what is that? What do you? Hold on. What do you have over there? Hold on. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> my grandmother, who shall henceforth be known as Baga. Ah, Pepper! Hang on. Oh my god. Did you just interrupt a story about my grandmother? Yeah, I totally did. I was really out of line. I can throw you out the window. There's I, enough distance. You know what? Where you can get the momentum. I sort of feel like I deserve it. And we're a hundred Here. plus feet above the Texas. I'll hitch it up and give you a belt loop hold. <laughs> grab the beard. Yeah. Grab the belt. <laughs> and throw. So my grandmother. Sorry, my God. <laughs> you apologize. I apologize. <laughs> my grandmother. I'm having lunch. My lunch. With my lovely Baga, yeah, coming in for Fort Worth, and she says, "Rex, I hear you took your shirt off on video." <laughs> and I'm sitting right next to her. It's for the video class that we're doing with Brian Brushwood. Right, and you know we're, we're yes. doing some shenanigans <laughs> on screen, which is going to be an amazing class. It's like it's already the rooms on campus are already sold out. Awesome. So it's like, ah, uh, yeah, you heard about that? I didn't send her this. Shit. I don't think any y'all sent her this. Shit. Somebody sent her this. Shit. Someone for like, yeah, Baga, you know, you just gotta like kind of do something a little out there to get people's attention. Yeah. like, yeah, I don't know you, if you should do that. <laughs> she was very serious. like, well, you know, Baga, it's really just kind of like a cultural thing where it's like a signal, a flag that we're planting. So we're making sure the people that come, they realize, you know, what they gotta be, like, well, you gotta be ready to be you in be for. ready to be in for. And she says, yeah, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Here's a picture, uh, <laughs> like 30 seconds after my grandmother is drawing a red line in the sand. Yeah. And of course, you know what I like to do with red lines in the sand. Yeah. They're <laughs> awesome. And so my grandmother, Baga, yesterday, this is what I get in the mail. Rex, this is another great look for the mooch. <laughs> Love Baga. <laughs> I love that she is totally dropping the bomb in a way I've never been able to accomplish. So on you, on camera, I'm getting trolled by my own grandmother. Totally. You know, I did get trolled by my mom. <laughs> if you remember. Yeah, you did. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> fair is fair. Still it. Wow, wow, wow. Pump those brakes, team. That's Wait, can we can we come back to the pepper when you're done with that? That's two days in a row with flawless intro delivery. <laughs> <laughs> you guys going pro? We're pro, bro. No, no, we screwed it up since then. Yeah, since then you can see it's all coming apart at the seams. There's black pepper. After you've swallowed this and you're just kind of hanging out and you have the aftertaste in your mouth, there's some pepper notes that are showing up that weren't there in the first sip. I don't like to throw throw around the word smooth because it's just so overused when, but people, it really is. when people try to describe whiskeys. It's Dude, like it's either this smooth could or be it's a gateway smooth. whiskey. Oh yeah. I mean, absolutely a gateway to American it whiskey. It may need to make an appearance on the on list. The Friday episode. Which is in theory, tomorrow. The top 10 beginner whiskeys. We're going to be recording this. So you guys be putting in your suggestions in the comments. We're going to shoot it all by itself because it's going to require us to drink 10 whiskeys. What are your favorite whiskeys <laughs> that you would suggest for a beginner getting into the world of whiskey? It could be bourbon, yeah, scotch, in Irish. In any category, period. Yeah. And what we'll do is we'll just sort of combine the most listed that keep reappearing on people's lists. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So you guys have a week to comment on your lists. I will aggregate them in a spreadsheet. A Notice week? I said spreadsheet and aggregate in the same sentence. You know, I can still throw you out the window. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Christian Daldi. Daniel, you just broke the whiskey drinker's rule on Longmorn. One does not talk about Longmorn. <laughs> yeah. It is much better. Kept, uh, just kept amongst ourselves. Yes. Love the old 16 and I still have a spare bottle just in case it disappears. Okay, so here's the thing, Christian. Oh. What's funny is that actually did occur to me <laughs> while we were doing the video. <laughs> I actually did think at one point, I never like, verbalized oh, it. You shouldn't tell people about yeah, this. At one point I thought, is this a mistake? <laughs> Like telling people about the Longmorn because because you realize how many whiskey purchases we're driving. Yeah, and so I'm like, I but I don't ever <laughs> want to run out, and if I tell people, there's a higher likelihood of me running out. <laughs> so anybody, I feel your pain. Anybody in Austin, you're not allowed to buy Longmorn. No. As a matter of fact, stop watching this show entirely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to know what goes on in here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Charlie G. Haig. Charlie, patron Charlie. Charlie's making a big appearance this week. 
Good. He, he was on vacation. Yeah. And I was like, Charlie, what the hell? <laughs> no he, comments. He didn't have Wi-Fi. I want a real Wi-Fi. No, a real fan would invest in drive like a, to a Wi-Fi mobile traffic. Charlie. Yeah. You drive to Wi-Fi <laughs> just to watch our crummy show. Now, now remember, Charlie sent us like six bottles of whiskey, and I've, we've only been able to talk about two things he sent us so far. Uh, at some point, and because he and Kate talked about, or Katie, not Kate, uh, Katie talked about the Pultaney, old Pultaney. We're going to do that one. Um, and we've never done a donation ceremony for Charlie. No, no, we did one. Did we? Yeah, we did one. But it was only for one of the whiskeys he sent us. He sent us six. Charlie G. Haig, uh, can we still add our own toasts? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. No, here's the thing. If you don't like our little trio toast, right. record your own damn toast. We just made it easier. Yes. For people who don't have a toast in their back pocket, they want to send us something. But if you have one. Yeah. Oh, by the way, send it. If you want to send us the final part of the toast where you say, if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with, with us. us. That's all you have to do. That's a three second video to clip to send to us. Upload it to your YouTube account. Uh, you can set it to unlisted so it doesn't show in the public. Or uh, just thing. record it on your phone, upload it to Dropbox, and send us the Dropbox link. Yeah. All right. Because um, it's only three seconds long. It won't be a huge file. Not that I really have a place to talk considering I haven't uploaded one yet. Ha ha. How dare you? Yeah, whatever, Charlie. How dare you, Charlie? Whatever. Are we give and give whining, and give, and you give us nothing in return. Whining about toasts hasn't yet contributed. <laughs> right. I'm just saying. I kind of wish there were more whiskey videos to record. This is the last one for this batch. It is. I'm actually kind of glad for that. No. Okay. I'm sad. You're sad. Do you want me to do the end toast all on? Yes. Here's to fighting, stealing. And drinking. If you fight... Shut up, I changed my mind. Oh, okay. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking! I changed my mind again, go back. If you fight, me fight for a friend. If you steal... You know, I'm really missing out. Bring it back. Okay. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking! If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may you, you drink, drink with us! us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.